Deep in the ancient rainforests of Colombia, millions of years ago, a creature of unimaginable size and power once roamed the dense vegetation. This was a time when the Earth was a vastly different place, teeming with life forms that would seem alien to us today. Among these incredible creatures one stood out for its sheer size and dominance, a creature of immense size once slithered through the underbrush, moving with a grace that belied its massive proportions. This was Titanoboa, the largest snake to ever exist. Imagine a serpent so large that it dwarfed even the largest of today's anacondas and pythons. Titanoboa was a true giant, a relic of a bygone era. This colossal reptile measuring over 40 feet long and weighing over a ton, ruled the prehistoric swamps with an iron grip. Its immense size and strength made it the undisputed king of its domain, a predator without equal. Its massive jaws could crush the bones of its prey with ease. With a single powerful bite it could bring down creatures much larger than itself, showcasing the raw power and efficiency of this ancient predator. Tita Noboa was the apex predator of its time, striking fear into the hearts of all creatures that crossed its path. No animal was safe from its relentless pursuit, and its presence alone could alter the behavior of other species in its environment. But what if this monstrous serpent never went extinct? What if, against all odds, Titanoboa had survived the cataclysmic events that wiped out so many other species. Imagine a world where Titanoboa continued to evolve, growing even larger and more powerful. Over millions of years it could have adapted to new environments becoming an even more formidable predator. What impact would this have had on the planet's ecosystems? The presence of such a dominant predator would have reshaped the balance of life, influencing the evolution of countless other species and altering the course of natural history. Would humans have ever emerged as the dominant species if Titanoboa still roamed the Earth? Our ancestors would have faced a terrifying challenge competing with this giant for resources and survival. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of Titanoboa and explore the hypothetical scenario of its continued existence. Through this journey we will uncover the mysteries of this ancient giant and ponder the profound questions of what might have been. Around 56 million years ago, the Earth experienced a period of intense warming known as the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, or PETM. This event, triggered by a massive release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, caused global temperatures to soar, the oceans warmed, and sea levels rose. Many marine species struggled to adapt to these rapidly changing conditions. On land, forests expanded, creating new habitats for animals like Titanoboa. The PTM had a profound impact on life on Earth, setting the stage for the evolution of new species. The warmer temperatures of the PETM would have created ideal conditions for cold-blooded reptiles like Titanoboa. Snakes rely on external heat sources to regulate their body temperature. A warmer climate would have allowed Titanoboa to maintain optimal body temperatures for longer periods. This, in turn, would have increased their metabolism and allowed them to grow even larger. The abundance of prey in the expanding rainforest would have provided ample sustenance for these giant snakes. It's not unreasonable to imagine Titanoboa thriving during the PETM, reaching even greater sizes than previously thought possible. However, even the largest creatures have their limits. While the PETM initially favored Titanoboa, the continued warming of the planet could have eventually posed challenges. Extreme heat can be deadly to reptiles, disrupting their metabolism and reproductive cycles. As temperatures continued to rise, Titanoboa might have struggled to find refuge from the heat. The same forests that once provided ample hunting grounds could have become too hot and dry, leading to a decline in prey availability. Despite their size and strength, even Titanoboa would have been vulnerable to the forces of climate change. Section 5. The King Continues Its Reign. Let's imagine a scenario where Titanoboa not only survived the PETM, but continued to evolve and thrive. This colossal serpent, already a dominant predator, would have had the potential to adapt to changing environments and challenges over the millennia. Over millions of years natural selection would have favored individuals with advantageous traits. These traits could include enhanced sensory abilities, allowing Titanoboa to detect prey from greater distances, or perhaps even more efficient metabolic processes to sustain its massive size. Perhaps Titanoboa would have developed even stronger muscles, allowing it to constrict larger prey. Its sheer power would have made it an apex predator, 
capable of taking down almost any animal that crossed its path. Or maybe it would have evolved a more efficient respiratory system, enabling it to stay submerged for longer periods while hunting in swamps and rivers. This adaptation would have given it a significant advantage in aquatic environments, making it a versatile and deadly hunter. With no natural predators to keep its population in check, Titanoboa could have become an even more formidable force in the animal kingdom. Its dominance would have shaped the ecosystems it inhabited, influencing the evolution of other species and maintaining its reign as the king of its domain. Imagine a world where this giant serpent continued to evolve, becoming an even more awe-inspiring and terrifying creature. Section 6. A New Breed of Hunter As Titanoboa continued to evolve, it might have developed specialized adaptations for hunting specific prey. This colossal serpent, which roamed the Earth around 60 million years ago, was already a formidable predator. But, what if it had evolved even further? Imagine a subspecies of Titanoboa with heat-sensing pits like those found in modern-day pythons. These specialized pits would have been a game-changer in the dense dark jungles where visibility was often limited. These pits would have allowed it to detect the body heat of warm-blooded mammals, even in complete darkness. This adaptation would have made Titanoboa an even more efficient hunter, capable of tracking and ambushing prey with deadly precision. Another possibility is the evolution of venom. Venom is a powerful tool in the animal kingdom, used by many modern snakes to immobilize and pre-digest their prey. While there's no evidence to suggest that Titanoboa was venomous, it's not entirely outside the realm of possibility. If Titanoboa had developed venom, it would have been an even more fearsome predator. A venomous bite would have given Titanoboa a significant advantage when hunting large prey, allowing it to subdue its victims quickly and efficiently. This would have reduced the risk of injury from struggling prey and ensured a higher success rate in its hunts. Imagine the terror of encountering such a creature in the prehistoric jungles, a true apex predator with both size and specialized hunting adaptations. Section 7. The Hunt for Bigger Prey With its size and strength constantly evolving, Titanoboa would have needed increasingly larger prey to sustain itself. The giant crocodilians and turtles that shared its habitat would have presented a formidable challenge but also a substantial reward. Imagine the epic battles that might have unfolded as Titanoboa clashed with these prehistoric behemoths. The sheer power of these encounters would have sent ripples through the ancient ecosystems. The pressure to find enough food could have driven Titanoboa to expand its hunting grounds, venturing beyond its traditional swampy domains. Section 8 a world ruled by serpents. If Titanoboa had continued to evolve unchecked, it's possible that snakes, not mammals, would have become the dominant land animals. Imagine a world where giant serpents ruled the food chain, their massive bodies slithering through forests and grasslands. Smaller mammals might have been relegated to a life of hiding, constantly on the lookout for these silent, deadly predators. The evolution of humans, as we know them, might have been impossible in a world dominated by Titanoboa. Section 9. The Titanoboa's Impact on the Ecosystem The presence of a top predator like Titanoboa would have had a cascading effect on the entire ecosystem. By keeping populations of herbivores in check, Titanoboa would have played a crucial role in maintaining the balance of nature. The fear of becoming prey would have driven evolutionary adaptations in other animals, leading to the development of new defense mechanisms and behaviors. The constant struggle between predator and prey would have shaped the course of evolution for millions of years. Section 10. Could Titanoboa still exist? The idea of a giant prehistoric snake lurking in unexplored corners of the world might seem like something out of a Hollywood movie. While it's highly unlikely that Titanoboa still exists today, the possibility, however remote, is intriguing. Vast areas of our planet remain unexplored particularly the depths of the oceans and dense rainforests. It's not entirely impossible that a population of Titanoboa or a similar giant snake species could have survived in isolation, evolving in ways we can only imagine. Section 11. Conclusion. A world with Titanoboa. The hypothetical existence of a continuously evolving Titanoboa paints a vivid picture of a world vastly different from our own. It highlights the power of natural selection and the delicate balance of ecosystems. While we may never know for sure what might have been, speculating about the possibilities allows us to appreciate the incredible diversity of life. 
both past and present. It serves as a reminder that the natural world is full of wonders, and that even the most seemingly impossible creatures could have once roamed our planet.